Hey, what's up everybody? It's Blue Trev here, and this is another squad builder for you guys here today. This is a BPL and Russian League skill hybrid squad. Uh, once again, not the most complex hybrid, but I will be doing more complex. I will be doing actual complex hybrids in the future. Just right now, I want to stick to the simple hybrids. Uh, but this is a skill hybrid. There are four five-star skillers and one four-star skiller. And notice how there is not a single Brazilian in this squad, and I still managed to get four five-star skillers. So... Ha, yeah, let's go. Uh, this, <laughs> at the striker, there is Samuel Eto. He is 5'11", 4-star skills, 3-star weak foot. He is from Cameroon. I don't want to pronounce that name that he plays for, or the team name that he plays for, uh, but he plays in the Russian League. He is he has ridiculous stats at 91 pace, 82 shooting, 70 passing, 83 dribbling, and 76 heading. All around, I was a little bit disappointed with him. Only scored like 3 goals in 10 games, uh, which isn't horrible, but you know, with those stats, I'm expecting a little bit more. And also, he cost me like 16,000 coins. So, all around, a little bit disappointing, but he's still a pretty good player, I have to say. Next up is Adele Terraft, who is without a doubt a star of the team. He's 5'11", five 5-star five skills, 5-star weak foot. He is Moroccan, plays for QPR in the, uh, in the Premier League. He cost me 4,400 coins. And all around, just ridiculous... I mean, none of, the stat, none of his stats are ridiculous, but they all lie. 81 pace, he feels a lot faster. 76 shooting, he had the best shot on the team. 70 passing, he made terrific passes all around. And his 85 dribbling, it just felt phenomenal. Uh, next up is Embark Basufa. I think that's how you say it. He plays for the same team as Eto. He, ha he has 5-star skills. He has 4-star weak foot, 5 foot 6. Uh, he, is as, he is Moroccan as well. Um, and his stats are decent, nothing amazing. 78 pace, 73 shooting, 79 passing, and 86 dribbling. His dribbling is very good, uh, but he's more of a passer than a scorer. I only scored one goal with him, and uh, his shot isn't that great. But he made some good passes and has very good ball control. And he was kind of fun to do skills with. Uh, next up is Asadi, who plays for Liverpool and is Moroccan as well. Another Moroccan five-star skiller. Uh, he has four-star weak foot. He's five foot ten. Uh, cost me four thousand coins. He is right foot on the left side. He has eighty-eight pace, eighty-four dribbling. Uh, all around, he was really fun to do skills with. But for some reason, I could not score a single goal with, with him. So a little bit disappointed with him. Next up is Magadi. We all know who Magadi is. He has five-star skills, four-star weak foot. Plays in the Russian league. For Spartak Moskov, Moskva, I think that's how you say it, but uh, he has 91 pace, 71 shooting, 78 passing, and 86 dribbling. All around, those stats look absolutely amazing, but he is a very disappointing player, disappointing player to play with. Uh, didn't score any goals with me, and uh, I mean, all around, I was a little bit disappointed with him. Uh, next up is El Amadi, Karim El Amadi. He's just an all-around Perfect center mid for me. Uh, very cheap. He's Moroccan and plays for Aston Villa. Uh, all around, none of his stats are very good, but he's six foot three, I think, or six foot one, and he is very strong. Uh, he won a lot of balls, even though his defense stats are not very good. Uh, but next up is Jose Enrique. He cost me about six thousand four hundred coins. He pl he is Spanish. Plays for Liverpool. Uh, six feet tall. Pretty big for a left back. Eighty four pace. Seventy six. Dribbling, 80 defending, and 76 passing. All around a very good left back. Now next up is Martin Skirtle. I call him Squirtle, but he plays for Liverpool. He is Slovakian. He He's all around a very good center back in my opinion. His pace isn't the greatest, but in my opinion, he just played very good defense and uh, got the job done. And very cheap player for, well, I mean, a thousand coins isn't very cheap, but I, he still felt like he's he was a very good defender. Next up is Tomas Hubakan, Hubakan? I, I, I'm butchering everyone's name, but he plays for Zenit, he is Slovakian as well, uh, a very pacey center back at 77 pace, but still has pretty good defending stats at 78, all around he, he as well was a very good defender, uh, didn't really make too many mistakes, and uh, that's all I can really ask for him. Uh, next up is Alexander Anyuk. On, on Anyakov, I think that's how you say it, but he is a Russian. He plays for Zenit. He is a right back, has 78 pace, 79 passing, 74 dribbling, and 74 defending. All around a decent right back. Uh, made some stupid mistakes here and there, um, but he's all around decent. Uh, would not say he's a very good player. But next up is Zenov. Zenov, uh, he is from Belarus. Uh, plays for Zenit. 
in the Russian League. Uh, all around decent stats, nothing, well, not even really decent stats, just okay stats. Um, he wasn't a horrible goalkeeper, uh, but he wasn't great. Um, you, I mean, there really wasn't a whole lot of variety to use for goalkeepers in the squad. And uh, for 400 coins, I feel that's okay. Nothing horrible, nothing nothing too bad. So uh, next, now let's go on to the goals, and I'm going to talk about the players a little bit more. Now, look at this first goal by Tarap. This was actually the very first goal I scored with this squad. Uh, so pretty good uh, way to start off this squad. Uh, but all around, Tarap was by far the best player on this squad. Just, just absolutely amazing player. He really surprised me with everything. Like his shooting was just fantastic, and here he's out muscling the, just their defenders, and it's just everything he did was just very good. And also one thing uh, to note about Eto, he actually wins quite a bit of headers. And I know that was a simple crossing with no one around. He that should be an easy header, but I mean he would win headers. Like I think all of his goals were headers actually. Uh, except for maybe one, but Tarap was by far the best player. I think he scored n nine goals in ten games or something like that, uh, but everything about him was just fantastic. Uh, he has very good shooting, um, very good ball control. He was fun to do skills with. Um, and one thing to know about Arati, I mean Asadi, uh, he, he uh, was pretty good at crossing it in. He, I think uh, about three or four of the crossings that I got um, and that scored off of, uh, were off of him um, that were in this uh, that are in these goals like I think again that was Asadi crossing it in uh, to to wrap uh, but Asadi was pretty fun to do skills with I don't know how I didn't score a whole lot of goals with him I don't even think I scored a single goal and look at this long shot boom look at that by to wrap to wrap is just an, just a complete monster uh, I would definitely suggest trying him out he's just a fantastic player on every every single thing I mean I, he really surprised me because I had pretty Pretty low expectations going in using him. I thought he'd be just an okay five-star skiller, nothing amazing. Um, but this was the one goal that I scored with Basufa. Just a uh, decent little skill dribble, nothing too amazing. And uh, here, El Amadi, uh, just, he just completely out-muscles out everyone, like I said. Um, he's just a big guy who out-muscles players. That was the one goal I scored with him. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and uh, see ya.